The Sharingan, one of the most iconic abilities in Naruto, has fascinated fans with its mystical powers and deep-rooted lore. In this video, I'll explain the Sharingan's origins, its abilities, and its impact on the series. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to the world of Naruto, this breakdown will shed light on why the Sharingan is such a crucial element in the story. The Sharingan is a unique dojutsu, or eye technique, originating from the Uchiha clan, one of the founding clans of the Hidden Leaf Village. The name Sharingan translates to copy will eye, reflecting its primary ability to replicate techniques and observe the of combat. The Jojutsu's origins are deeply tied to the lore of the Naruto universe. It was first awakened by the Uchiha clan's ancestor, Indra Otsutsuki, the eldest son of the Sage of Six Paths, Hagoromo Otsutsuki. Indra's descendants, the Uchiha, inherited this powerful ability, which became a defining characteristic of their clan. The Sharingan has several key abilities that evolve as the user's skill and emotional state progress, the first of which is enhanced perception. At its core, the Sharingan allows the user to perceive and analyze the flow of chakra, making it easier to read an opponent's movements and intentions. This heightened perception allows the user to see through illusions and predict enemies' actions with near precision. One of the most famous abilities of the Sharingan is its capacity to copy Jutsu. By observing an opponent's technique, a Sharingan user can replicate it almost instantly, provided that they have the necessary chakra control and physical capability. The Sharingan can also cast powerful illusions, known as Genjutsu, which manipulates the victim's senses. This ability can be used for a variety of purposes, from anticipating an opponent to extracting information. As Uchiha characters grow stronger, their Sharingan evolves into more advanced forms, each with its own unique abilities. The initial form of the Sharingan is the one with two Tomoe, comma-shaped marks, in each eye. This form provides basic enhanced perception and the ability to copy basic Jutsu. With three Tomoe, the Sharingan's abilities are significantly enhanced. Users gain a deeper insight into their opponent's techniques and can use more advanced Genjutsu. The next form is the Mangekyo Sharingan, a more advanced form of the Sharingan that is awakened through intense emotional trauma, often related to the loss of a loved one. Each Mangekyo user has unique abilities. For example, Itachi Uchiha's Magikyo allows him to use powerful Amaterasu and Tsukuyomi techniques, while Sasuke Uchiha's Magikyo grants him the ability to wield a Susano, a gigantic ethereal warrior. Not to say that those powers are exclusive to each other, since Itachi has his own Susano and Sasuke his own Amaterasu, but those are what a lot of people distinguish when comparing their powers and what stands out for them. The next evolution would be the Eternal Magikyo Sharingan. This form is achieved by transplanting the Magikyo Sharingan of a close relative, which prevents the deterioration of vision associated with the Magikyo. It grants access to even more powerful techniques without the severe drawbacks. The ultimate evolution of the Sharingan is the Rinnegan, which is achieved when an individual possesses both the Sharingan and the powers of the Sage of Six Paths. This is apparent when the chakras of Indra and Ashura mix in, which is what Madara Uchiha did to obtain the Rinnegan by mixing his own chakra with Hashirama Senju's DNA. This rare form of Dojutsu provides the users with godlike abilities, including the Sage of Six Paths pain techniques and the user's ability to control life and death enough techniques and perks that deserves its own video. Like I alluded to in earlier parts of the video, the Sharingan isn't necessarily exclusive to those of the Uchiha clan. While it needs to be awakened by an Uchiha descendant, someone who isn't can have the Sharingan if the eye were transplanted to that said individual. Such as when Obito Uchiha gave his Sharingan as a gift to Kakashi Hatake, or when Danzo was able to steal his own from Shishui Uchiha, and when he had Orochimaru transplant a bunch of them into his arm. The main drawback of being a non-Uchiha wielder of the Sharingan is that it significantly drains their chakra and can render you emotional mobile for an extended period of time. The only way that it was shown to negate this was by implementing Hashirama's DNA, which is what Danzo did. Some of the most broken abilities that the Sharingan can use is Izanagi and Izanami, both of which are considered forbidden jutsu. Izanagi is like a get out of jail free card with a massive price tag. It allows the user to alter reality for a short time, essentially letting them turn a fatal or severe injury into a mere illusion. So if someone tries to kill you, you can just rewrite reality to avoid the death. Sounds amazing, right? But here's the catch. Using Izanagi requires the user to sacrifice their eyesight in the eye that they use it in. So it is powerful, but only if you're willing to pay the price for losing your Sharingan eye. That's why Danzo having all those Sharingan in his arm was such a benefit, as he was able to spam the Jutsu multiple times, as he did with Sasuke in their fight. Izanami is a Genjutsu that traps the opponent in a loop of their own making, forcing them to relive the same events over and over until they finally acknowledge their own flaws. It's designed to make someone face their true selves and ultimately change their behavior. The downside is the same as Izanagi, as one would lose their eye in the process, just as when Itachi did when he used it against Kabuto during their fight in the war arc. Both of these techniques are tied to the Uchiha clan's more mystical abilities and are a part of the Sharingan's legacy. They're mentioned in connection with some of the more intense and dramatic moments in the series, especially involving characters like Itachi Uchiha, who used them in strategic ways. The Sharingan is not just a powerful tool, it is deeply intertwined with the themes and conflicts of Naruto. It symbolizes the struggle between power and morality, as the Uchiha clan's history is marked by cycles of conflict, betrayal, and 
Redemption. The Sharingan's abilities often reflect the emotional and psychological struggles of its users, highlighting the series' exploration of personal growth and the consequences of one's actions. The Sharingan's influences extends beyond the Naruto series. It has become a cultural icon in anime and manga, inspiring countless discussions, fan theories, and creative content. Its design and abilities have left a lasting impression on the anime community, making it a quintessential element of Naruto. The Sharingan is a complex and fascinating dojutsu that embodies much of what makes Naruto compelling. From its origins with the Uchiha clan to its evolution into the Rinnegan, the Sharingan represents both incredible power and profound personal struggles. By understanding its abilities and significance, we gain a deeper appreciation for the intricate world Kishimoto was creating. Now I'll pass the question off to you guys. What do you think of the Sharingan as a whole? What were some key features of the Sharingan that you liked the most? I'd love to get y'all's thoughts, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click the card you see here which will take you to my video on why Sasuke was justified in wanting to destroy the Leaf Village. I'm the Curly Hero Kage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.